Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash Entitled Parents. In today's episode, Entitled Parent Dumped His Child in Our Wagon. My entitled parents are stalking me to start talking to them again. Entitled mom demands discount on expensive betta fish for her special needs kid. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Entitled parent dumped his child in our wagon. I have a new, literally a few weeks old, wonderful W4 wagon. I'm in UK so here they come with a pretty hefty price tag. I took my kiddos to the park in it and put it beside the bench, just a couple feet from the swings where my youngest wanted to go. I was watching it like a hawk, like it's another one of my babies. A couple people walked up and pushed it around to try it out. That was irritating enough. But then a dad walked up to it with his dirt-covered kid and sat him inside it. I flipped out at him. He actually got offended that I was telling him off. He said his child was tired and it looked comfy. There was bench literally right next to it. The seat he put him on also had some of my son's sensory equipment on it. We got this wagon literally as assistive equipment for our son who has sensory processing disorder and neurological muscular dystrophy. If it were a stroller or a wheelchair would this guy have thought it was appropriate? I don't know. But either way I wasn't impressed. A couple people said he may have been testing to see if anyone was watching so he could steal it. If that's the case, that's just a whole other case of entitlement. I remember seeing a video of a family who had personalized one of these and took it to Disney Florida. Picture the family's name on it, with art from the kids, even had a number plate that stated who it belonged to, and if found a contact number provided. They weren't allowed to take it near one area, but it was barely five feet away from where the family were positioned. The father had stated on camera that he was keeping a very keen eye on it, but a group moved between him and the wagon, and it was gone. It was stated in the film that they started filming about five minutes after the wagon was taken but had immediately found the family who took it. The other family was ignoring the owners calling them put until a security guard joined in. The other family was legitimately saying it was theirs and that the actual owner vandalized their wagon. Those wagons are awesome and expensive, and it really irks me when people try to take slash steal them, especially when it is extremely obvious it doesn't belong to them. Unfortunately, people do similar things and worse in regards to wheelchairs, sometimes even occupied ones. A couple people said he may have been testing to see if anyone was watching so he could steal it. 99% of the people who checked it out was doing just this. I have seen those before and thought they were awesome. I didn't realize they get up to $900 for the top of the line. The Volkswagen styled one was $1,500. The accessories are all expensive too. It's sad people keep stealing them because that seems like it would be extremely helpful. He said his child was tired and it looked comfy. I swear these people want their children to be kidnapped. Those are great wagons. My daughter got one for her kids. Her five years old son has autism. The cool thing about the wagon is it's huge and has a cover. He can close it up when he gets overstimulated. But are they expensive? Yeah, I need to get a full cover for it. We only have the partial canopy that came with it. But a full cover would be perfect to make a portable sensory den, it's definitely on the list. I want to get the rain cover first though as I don't want to ruin it but in England it rains a lot. So I don't want to be stuck at home every time it rains. Just a rain cover is 80 pounds. High costs for the wagon and accessories but it's such an amazing tool for the kiddos to regulate. My entitled parents are stalking me to start talking to them again. Hi there. I made a post somewhere else about my parents wanting me to sign their car in my name. But it's been nearly two years since then and after cutting contact my mom has shown up at my old house for my birthday, knowing I wasn't interested in seeing her anymore. She also told her boss about me, and the woman found me at my job on accident cause I work in customer services. 
She seemed to feel like my mom lied to her about me when we finished talking, but I guess she still told my mom where I worked. So a month later my mom drove halfway across town, brought only water refills which were 38 cents a gallon, and stood behind me for apparently a good few minutes until I turned around and start her. I immediately started screaming at her to leave. First she looked annoyed and she ran off and started laughing so I cussed her out. Honestly, she acted like a bratty teenager and not a 50-something year old woman. Manager was really cool about the whole thing, apparently another employee has been dealing with a similar situation with my mom. I've talked to a judge at this point and the police. Not enough for a restraining order but I've been told to file a police report on both the store incident and her coming to my home, which I did. I guess I'm just documenting what's happening now until the law gets sick of the incidents popping up. Why? Why would she just run and laugh? Why are people like this? Ugh. I'm so sorry, OP. She used to tell me that it's better for her to laugh rather than cry in case she needs to help me. But that just ended up in her laughing every time I got hit, tripped, fell, got sick. She one time gave me food poisoning and burst out laughing when I started puking. So I don't know where the helping part ever came in. Start somewhere new in a different state. I would but I'm in my last year of college and don't have money to move. Entitled mom demands discount on expensive betta fish for her special needs kid. I'm a bit new on here and I apologize in advance if there are any mistakes to my terminology. E.M. Entitled Mom E.K. Entitled Kid Me. PetSmart Worker S.M. Store Manager It was just another typical day at PetSmart, where I, an unsuspecting employee, was about to encounter an entitled mother and her special needs kid who would turn my day upside down. The day started like any other, with customers browsing the pet aisles, and I was busy attending to the fish tanks. That's when EM and EK entered the store, with a conspicuous air of entitlement surrounding them. The EK seemed around 10 years old, demanding his mom's attention. As the EK spotted the beautiful, vibrant betta fish, he immediately began pestering his mom to get one. Now, now I knew bettas required proper care and a suitable environment, and I couldn't help but worry that this kid had no idea how to care for a delicate fish like a betta. Eager to make a sale, EM turned to me, flashing a fake smile and said, my son really wants one of these fancy fish. Can we get it at a discounted price? After all, he has special needs. I politely explained that all our pets, including betta fish, were priced reasonably for their care requirements. We couldn't offer discounts based on personal circumstances. I also stressed the importance of providing a suitable tank and proper care for the betta. Unsurprisingly, EM wasn't pleased with my response. She, she grew increasingly irate, insisting that her child deserved a discount due to his special needs. I remained firm, but it only seemed to fuel her entitlement. While EM argued with me, EK slipped away and tried to open a betta fish container without any regard for the fish's safety. I rushed to intervene, gently guiding EK away from the tanks and emphasizing the importance of being careful around the pets. The situation escalated further as EM demanded to speak with my manager, convinced that her entitled persistence would get her a discounted betta fish. Unfazed, I obliged and called for the SM to handle the escalating situation. SM arrived, assessing the situation with a calm demeanor. However, EM's behavior only intensified, her voice echoing through the store. She continued to demand a discount and accused me of being insensitive to her son's needs. SM patiently listened to EM's tirade before firmly reiterating the store policy, no discounts for pets based on personal circumstances. He also reminded her that providing proper care for any pet was a priority, especially considering her son's special needs. Sensing her defeat, EM resorted to playing the victim card, claiming she would take her business elsewhere. SM remained unfazed and politely escorted EM and EK to the exit, emphasizing that we valued responsible pet ownership above all else. The store atmosphere lightened as EM and EK left, and I felt a sense of satisfaction seeing SM stand firm against entitlement. 
What kind of special need requires a pet fish? This is so odd. I'm a special needs parent and have never requested a discount in my life. Your SM did the right thing. I just hope that they were permanently banned from the store due to the harassment slash entitlement. Parents that use their special needs kids as an excuse for their entitled behavior need a major reality check. A reality check that will make them realize that only specific disabilities get special treatment. And I very highly doubt that the EK had one of those disabilities. Probably have a minor disability but the mother is using it as an excuse. Give her any other kind of fish and tell her it's the one she wants. A Betta was one of my ADHD slash autistic kids first joint pets. We kept Bubba on the kitchen table in a big glass jar for almost a year, we'd eat and he'd flare at us. I did most of the care and they gave them the one pellet per morning as required. We even took Bubba to school for pet day, plus a mirror so he could show off his fins. He was quite the celebrity as the kindergartners had never seen a betta do their thing. Something tells me my kid is special needs wouldn't have had the patience and persistence to take care of such a creature, so I have no problem with PetSmart's no policy. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.